It wasn't even defrosting the whole time. Chronic vibes. Chronic. Okay. That's terrible news. Well. Terrible news. Let's try this again, shall we? There was a 2014 YouTube itch that I just wanted to scratch today in the form of a good old what I eat in a day video. Remember those? Needless to say, I don't eat like this every day. A lot of the times I eat more indulgently. Other days I eat more healthy. The fridge is full of yummy stuff. And there was one or two things I wanted to batch make. Breakfast. First thing, I make a big old jar with whatever's lying around of like a chia flax pudding. It's not rocket science over here. I'm sure you all know what a chia pudding is by now. But I think I only learned last year that it's also better to soak your flax seeds. They kind of go gooey like chia seeds. Seed cycling is something I want to get into this month and flax seeds will definitely be essential for that. This jar is so handy because it already has these measurements on it. Anytime I'm doing a chia pudding, whatever container I have, I fill it up a quarter of the seeds and then the rest usually a mix of like almond milk, water, whatever. The prana organic bits I tend to lean towards when I'm in Canada, but I'm just gonna do like a heaped tablespoon of cacao. I like mine a little chocolatey. I might do a little bit more. Mixture is mixed. Okay, so I did half water and I'm topping the rest up with ah, oat milk. Been there for six or seven minutes, but I don't know. I like to give it a shake and just make sure it's all properly mixed and even. I can then leave it for another few minutes. Gorgeous straws yesterday, they're washed, they're cleaned. I think it may have taken me till the age of 30 to realize that the little flimsy container that you get your fruit in that has all the holes in it, that's what makes your fruit go bad. I like to wash all my berries in like a one to three ratio of white vinegar, like distilled white vinegar. Everyone should have it in their house for cleaning literally anything. Two parts water. Vinegar helps get all of like the bacteria off the fruit that makes it go moldy. So that makes it last longer and also putting it into an airtight container. And it's the same with anything that goes bad quickly, like red onions, wash them, chop them. And I promise you will actually get a chance to finish them. I've already made such a hullabaloo, just preparing the yogurt. Give me any topic to talk about and I'll find a way to talk about it for two hours. I'm also someone who really likes to hold conversation in that way. Like I love meeting people and the topic of conversation can change. You've covered about 50 things in an hour coffee date. Love that. Brain highly stimulated by conversation like that. And when I look at my friendship group, a lot of them tend to be that way as well. Right, we've got all of the berries, all of them. Nice thing about living with someone is there's a lot more variety in my diet because I feel like I can actually finish stuff. The Canadian yogurt of choice. I bought this coconut one. It's taken me a long time to even get this far. If you've been following me a long time, you'll know that bananas and yogurt are two textural things. And sort of like favorite smell things, like even the smell of that, like the cultured smell, really, I really, really don't like it. There's certain foods from childhood that I was overfed. Chia seeds, sufficiently suspended, Oh, I just realized I forgot to put the honey in there. Cola of choice here in Canada has been this one. It basically tastes like Nutella. So we're gonna do hemp parts for the extra protein. All right, there you have it. Breakfast. There's a better angle. It's definitely a heritage building, but it's my favorite building in our sort of area we live. I think it's for no other reason other than the fact it looks like a building that would be in the X-Files. Wow, this guy's really bringing the moody vibes, but I'm also location scouting a nice autumn spot. Oh, like that would have been perfect if that wasn't there. Let me just black out this. This would be cute. Kind of goes with the color scheme of my outfit that I'm planning. Hmm. The wheels are turning. <laughs> that was way too aggressive of a hello, she caught me off guard. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Today's the take two on the puff pastry dish. Uh, that didn't go quite to plan yesterday. Redemption galette, cheese and jam pie. Really simple. The problem I have every time I go in to buy puff pastry to make myself a cute little Frenchie light little lunch. I never account for the defrosting time ever. Very simple recipe that I saw that called for kind of like a jam base and then just some brie on top. But as with me is I can never follow a recipe exactly. I always want to add my own little addition. I thought really thinly cut shallot on top would be nice. So I had some parmesan 
cheese petals lying around so I might just sprinkle some of those. The jam I'm using is just this four berry one. It's strawberries, cherries, raspberries and red currants. I really want to listen to a podcast while I do it so I'm not going to talk you through it. I feel like you'll be able to keep up. I will put the TikTok recipe that I saw that kind of inspired it in the description as well just in case I overcomplicate everything. I'll also be doing a little egg wash. Yeah. Look at that crust, it's so cute. If you love sweet and savory, this is really, really good. And it's not like too sweet. It'll be probably lunch or like a light snack for the next few days. Mm, 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 mm. Melt in the mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Definitely is something sweet after a meal person. Something sweet. That's something really good for a post-lunch dessert. A local coffee shop that's near us called There There. They do the best mochi donuts. Like those were the one, the first ones I ever had. And now every time I try them everywhere else, I'm like, mm, not as good as the there there ones. I ran there. They were doing a special like seasonal one. It's coffee crisp. The wee texture of mochi dough is like my favorite thing in the world. And then all these crispy bits on top. Here are all the little individual tartlets. Finally had some quiet time to also go through these photos that I took of Chloe the day she helped me with the AG jeans shoot, which by the way, came out amazing. Love her so much. Shouting you out in the vlogs. I know you watch the vlogs sometimes, but like she is absolutely stunning. So again, before and after a little bit warmer with some green kind of filmy undertones. I put some green on there as well. But yeah, Chloe is stunning. It's giving Sinead O'Connor. Definitely haven't had the most veggie filled day, which I usually do have. So I just don't have a joke. I should have ordered a great joke on Amazon. But wow, that's such a nice shot. <laughs> mm. It's been a while. Time for something sweet. This has been my latest hyper fixation. Two ingredients. Whipping cream. Fruit of your choice. I'm using these strawberries for the perfect one. For whipping up the whipped cream really quickly with minimal effort is to use one of those uh, blendy whiskey things. They sent it in a pure package. She has three speeds and this bitch is strong. I've had this three nights in a row now. Just dunk it like this. Tell me that's not the most satisfying thing that you've watched today. Perfect for watching The Great British Bake Off. Good night.